All right, guys, you've been wondering, why was there a rotor on the trailer? Why did I go pick up this rotor? This is a fancy rotor. Hasn't even seen the inside of a combine yet. Fresh paint, immaculate condition, brass bars are perfect. So are we gonna put this in one of our combines? No. This here was brought to Welker Farms on behalf of Case IH to be turned into a giant smoker. Isn't that awesome? So we're gonna turn this thing into the world's greatest smoker to be used in someone's backyard. And here's the catch to this. So barbecue smoker, whatever you wanna do with it, it'll be taken to the US Custom Harvesters Convention and they're gonna do a live auction and someone is gonna end up with this bad boy. So. In partnership with Case IH, they had this great idea to do this with us. I'm excited to do it. So I'm gonna start the process of fabbing into this and building one of a kind thing that you won't see anywhere else. Now, here's the problem I'm running into. My, uh, my star employee, leg arms, well, he kind of injured himself a couple months ago and then he hightailed it off the farm. He's been gone for several weeks and well, he's not here. So I'm kind of up a creek and I need to get this done because I'm up against the clock. So I decided I'm gonna put out a listing, see if I can get some applicants to put in and maybe get someone temporarily, maybe permanently, we'll see how it goes, to help me fab this thing up. Hello. Hi, yes, I'm calling about an applicant I saw you submitted for uh, working on a barbecue smoker deal. And uh, I was just gonna see, ask you a few questions, see if you're a good fit for the job. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, and your name was, was it uh, Zach? Johnson, is that what it is I have yeah. here? Yep, Zach Johnson, also not known the as, golfer. Not the golfer, and and, and your no. alias is Millennial Farmer? Yeah, that's right. Okay, all right, just just confirm it, okay. Uh, this is just kind of off, off the cuff, just kind of get a feel of you. Uh, if you had a choice between Chinese food and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which one would you take? Uh, are there cream cheese wontons? I'd say you're a pretty good fit for this. So I'll just give you a lowdown of what we're doing. We're, we're basically gonna take a it's, a, it's actually a rotor out of a combine. I don't know if you've heard of that. Um, and uh, it's a big cylinder. We're gonna cut it in half and turn it into a smoker for an event comp here. Um, and uh, it's actually been sponsored by Case IH. So it's come out of a red combine, like a, probably early 2000s, something like that. So does that sound something funny you'd wanna do? A, a red combine? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, one of the red ones. Red, red no, rotor. I, I don't, I, sorry, I don't work with the red ones. That's not my oh. thing. Oh, I'm, he just hung up on me. Well, that didn't work. Uh, let's see who's next on my list. Oh, the next guy should be here any minute. Come on in, take a seat. All right, I'm just gonna ask a couple questions to see if you're the fit for this job. Um, question number one, have you had a draw bar fall on your arm any time? Broke it by chance? No. Good, can I check? Number two, do you run red equipment on your farm? Yes. Oh, good, check that. Um, number three, do you farm? Yes. That makes sense because number two, I've got equipment. Number four, do you grow corn on your farm? No. Oh, good. Okay. And number five, have you ever built a smoker? Yes. Oh. Well, it's Tony. Oh, Tony. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Let's build a smoker. Let's do it. Hey, but what if, what if leg arms get back? No, we make good sure that won't happen. Oh, sweet. He's not coming back. All right, here it is, Tony. What do you think? First day on the job, we get to cut something in half? Yeah. That'll work. You ever, you ever chop a rotor apart before? Not a rotor. I pulled a couple out, but not, not cut one up yet. Well, this is gonna be the day. This is your day. <laughs> well, I'm glad to have you on board, Tony. You just got done doing a smoker, didn't you? A little bit ago? I did. Nice little, little fun little project for a change. So that's, that's, that's what I need right there. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> so I'm thinking we're gonna take the plasma cutter Mark off whatever we want on here, the, the length of it, and start plasming around the center. And then you were thinking we can suspend this with our gantry crane, yep. and then slowly take the halves apart, and then drop them down, and then we'll start building the stand and raise it back up again. Basically be this, just a lot smaller, unless you guys think we should make it this big. Like this long? Yeah, somewhere in there, right there. That's it right there. Okay. It's probably gonna be the heaviest smoker ever created. That's how it's case gonna, It's gonna be stout. <laughs> What, that's what Team Red does, you know, they make stout stuff. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's chop this thing. Dad's gonna be the behind the scenes guy. 
jump in when needed. You know, when we make a mistake, he'll come and fix them and then get off camera quickly and act like we did it. It's better than being the stunt man. So we're gonna take the raft bars off because when this thing's done, they all need to be painted individually and everything. So there's no reason to have them on right now. It makes this thing heavy. They're all heavy. And it looks kind of different with them off. Plus, when we cut this thing, we're gonna have to cut through some of these brackets where the raft bars attached and clean that up. So it's just easier. So they're just gonna go ahead and remove them all. We determined there really isn't a clear path to cut this baby in half without going through the center of one of these raft bar brackets. So there's four raft bars that we've determined. This one, this one, and then another one down here. That one and, and this one right here, we gotta pull off. So we're gonna take the plasma, run around all the edges, pull those off, we'll have to grind down the welds, and then we can then mark the line that we wanna do to cut that baby in half. Unless someone's got a giant chop saw. Oh, you know, a giant band saw would be awesome. So I've been slowly plasming around this, leaving this uh, where the old bracket was, the rasp bar. There's four of those spots. And I just cut two of those open and it went pop and it's starting to open up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and use the crane up here, put some chains, hook on one side, hook on the other side. And then that way I'll finish cutting those. It'll separate, but we'll have these suspended. So this whole thing won't come crashing down and ruin our project. No more leg accidents. Yeah, yeah, we don't want that. No more accidents. And then I'll probably grab the skid steer, which is now the Bobcat. And I'll come over here and pick up one of these ends. We'll take it off, get it on the ground, take it and get off the air, the ground, slide this thing out here. Makes sense? Well, now that we know there's a pipe in the center, Tony's gonna go ahead and cut a bigger access hole, reach in there, and we're gonna slice around that tube. We'll make sure this is obviously suspended well so it doesn't collapse and take someone's arm with them. But then with that separated, we should be able to pull us apart and disconnect this. It's interesting though, but there's little baffles they put in here. There's like one right here somewhere, one right, we just barely missed it right here. And I think there might be another one over here. We might have to cut all those out. That'll be a little tricky. But um, it's cool because it'll leave us a nice end for the end of the barbecue smoker on that side. Instead of, we were thinking originally using this end and cut this off, welding it to the half that we leave. But the thing about doing that is the way this cups in and everything, you lose a lot of space. We want to have a shelf there. So we'll see when we get it apart. So it's a part. We found there's a couple of these in here for structure support. There's one here, one here, one here, possibly one there. There's this heavy gauge, like three, four inch pipe that runs to the center. So we're kind of at a point where we got to figure out how we want to approach the firebox and how we're going to cap the end of it. And I think the plan is we're going to go to our junk pile real quick and just see if we happen to have something that we make into a door instead of using this as the door. Um, if worse comes to worse, we'll maybe salvage the old tube over there and cut a bigger piece there. It's all about how it lines up and opens and closes, but we were kind of hoping that locally someone could roll us a sheet that would fit on there, but they're not, they're booked out for a while. So let's go to the junk pile. Let's see what we can find. I got some other ideas we might pull out of there. These guys look eager to go dig around, so let's move. Well, we didn't see anything that would work, so we're gonna go back and uh, go to plan B. <laughs> All right, see in here, they've got another one of these, uh... keep saying baffles, because I'm used to fuel tanks. Whatever that is, we're gonna leave that one. We're not cutting that one out. We're gonna cut a little opening down at the bottom, because this in here is gonna be our smoke chamber, where we have the wood that's gonna be smoldering. Smoke's gonna go underneath there into, which this will be our cook chamber, 
which is the big lid on it, which then will come on and vent out of a little vent right here. We're gonna have a flapper valve, like off an old tractor. So we'll put a pipe up. So what we're kind of figuring out right now, as you can see, we've got lines where we're gonna put the lid to open this thing. And we were gonna, we've got a couple options. We got a place, track down that guy's fab shop out of Haver, Montana. So they've got a nice roller and they can roll us a big sheet that we could use for a door. But we kind of want to keep the rasp bars on here too for looks. The only downside is it's gonna be a really heavy door. So if we cut it out as is, we're gonna to try to save this door. We'll have to weld some straps on the side so it closes tight. But the problem is there's no, this rotor has so many rasp bars on it. I don't know what kind of rotor this is. We're all trying to figure it out, whether it was a prototype or what the deal was with it. But it's got a ton of rasp bars. There's no real line to go straight across without cutting through a rasp bar. So we determined that this one's gotta go, part of this one's gotta go, two back here have to go, this block here, the weight has to go and we get all those cut, then we'll slice around, and then we've got to carefully cut out spot welds that hold those center these in. So we got to try to pry all that apart and carefully get this lid off if we can. Okay, this is the one, one end of, of the rotor that become a, a barbecue. And I'm just gonna clean this up so we can reverse it, stick it back in there, get a nice smooth weld on the edge, so it'll be a penny slow. I cut the world's straightest lines. Tony can back me up on that. Yes. Duct tape. Don't give me that look. Free-handed it. Red duct tape. Pop it open the first time. It's done. <laughs> <coughs> Woo! Does it look like a barbecue yet? I just keep saying barbecue. Smoker. It's a lot yeah. less of a rotor looking by now. Well, Nick got the lid all cut out. Now we just got to figure out how to get this out. That center pipe in there. And then we're ready to do what? Ice cream? Do we have ice cream? We do have ice cream. Yes. We're struggling to get this big pipe out. This thing is so thick. So he's got tension with the come along on that side and Tony's been trying to separate it from the end there. And it's just tough because we can't see the back side. We have a mirror, we've been looking, but to know what he's doing is hard. So it hasn't separated yet, but when that comes out, we'll get the whole pipe okay. out and we'll have some room in there to be able to work. That's the plan, Stan. Alright, time for a lunch break, uh, dinner break. So we're we're making good progress. A little slower than we thought. I thought we were a little further along, but we were making progress. Anyways, I think we're gonna build a stand for this thing, get it set up so it's off this massive stand that was originally here, and then we can move it around and do all the finishing fine touches to it. And then get the wheels on it, and then I don't know. Paint it. I just realized my face is covered in dirt again. Pretty typical. Tony's is nice and clean. So he's gonna work on making the end of this smoker off with the plate that we cut out over here on the ground. And then I'm gonna start fabbing up the wheels and the frame out of that right there. So let's get to business. No! Uh, Complete, you completely broke that one. <laughs> Can't take him anywhere. So what, did they tell you what you're gonna have to do with the rest of this to get to keep it? I, I, we could turn to a, maybe a fire pit or something. But. Yeah, what are you going to do with that thing? What did you get back? Do I, what, does that mean I, I can't work anymore? Who do we fire? 